my dear friends there was much hue and cry regarding the recent statement of pope francis on homosexual persons he had reportedly said homosexual persons have right to be in a family they are also children of god they have a right to a family they should not be thrown out or be made miserable over it what we need is a civil union law by which they are protected i support that the particular words of pope francis was misinterpreted by the international media saying that pope francis had endorsed civil marriage for homosexual persons is it true i would like to reflect with you what is the truth behind his statement i would like to reflect with you two basic questions has pope francis endorsed civil marriage for the homosexual persons as pope francis changed the teachings of the church regarding homosexual persons first question has pope francis endorsed really endorsed civil marriage for the homosexual persons the word that he has used in the original language spanish for civil union is convivencia civil in italian convivenza convivenza civile it can mean civil union as well as cohabitation cohabitation means two persons staying together under the protection of the civil law it does not mean a civil marriage but what pope francis had really intended we need to understand to understand what pope francis has really intended we must go back to the history in 2010 when argentinian government wanted to make a legislation regarding civil union civil marriage for the homosexual persons then archbishop of buenos aires cardinal bergoglio had really attacked this legislation he had rejected this legislation saying what we need is not a civil marriage for the homosexual persons but rather we need to have a civil union law by which homosexual persons are protected civil union is totally different from marriage but unfortunately argentinian government had legislated this law for the civil union civil marriage for the homosexual persons after the legislation cardinal bergoglio had reportedly said it is the most destructive attack on god's plan in 2014 when he had given an interview to corriere della sera one newspaper in italy he was asked what is the stand of the church for the civil union for the homosexual persons he said we must distinguish civil union from that of marriage by civil union i understand it is a matter of staying together by which they are protected by the law they are given benefits of finance as well as health care what we need is a civil union by which homosexual persons are respected as well as protected later in 2017 when he had given another interview to a french sociologist mr walton mr walton had also asked the same question to which he said we must distinguish between marriage and civil union we cannot simply play with the plan of god we need a civil union for the homosexual persons but which is totally different from marriage marriage is always between man and woman taking all this history historical concepts historical data we will be able to understand when he had used the word convivencia civil or in english civil union or cohabitation he intended to say that a civil union by which homosexual persons are protected by the law 
They are guaranteed all the benefits of the law. He did not mean a civil marriage for the homosexual persons. Second question. Does Pope Francis change the teachings of the church? First of all, the teachings of the church are not changed in the media. It is not changed through the interview or documentary. But rather it is always proclaimed or promulgated through the sinners, councils and the official forums of the church. What is the teaching of the church regarding homosexual persons? In 2003, Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith had released a document regarding the proposals to give legal union between homosexual persons. The document has clearly stated like this. Respect for homosexual persons cannot lead in any way to approval of homosexual behavior or to a legal recognition of homosexual unions. It also said, the politician's support for homosexual union is gravely immoral. Legal recognition of homosexual unions or placing them on the same level as marriage would mean not only the approval of deviant behavior with the consequence of making it a model in present day society, but would also obscure basic values which belong to the common inheritance of humanity. The church cannot fail to defend these values. The church is very clear in its teaching regarding homosexual marriage. The prefect of Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith was Cardinal Ratzinger, who had later became Pope Benedict XVI. Cardinal William Levada later succeeded Pope Benedict XVI as the prefect of the Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith. When Cardinal William Levada was the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of San Francisco, in 1997, he had to face the similar legislation of regarding legal union between homosexual persons. He had said, I do not accept legal union, civil marriage between homosexual persons, but I am duty bound to give all the health care as well as financial benefits to a person who is living with an employee of my of my archdiocese he had not denied any kind of protection civil protection for the homosexual persons he had not denied any sort of respect for the homosexual persons what cardinal william levada had denied homosexual marriage it is the same thought shared by pope francis Pope Francis also had reiterated the same thought of congregation for the doctrine of faith. We must always respect. So what we can see in the words of Pope Francis is a pastoral care, a love, respect for the homosexual persons. It is not a destruction of the God's plan because he had reportedly affirmed the importance of having a marriage between man and woman. Church always has supported and church supports the marriage between man and woman. That is the will of God. Let us also stand by the will of God. Thank you.